All right. We are here with Shooter Brown. You already know. Now you've been AWOL, bro. What's, what's going on? Man, bro? I ain't been AWOL, AWOL, man. You know what's been going on with me? I've been trying to survive the corona apocalypse just like everybody else. Mm-hmm. You know, I've been making sure I got the things I need, setting up good defenses and, you know, make sure my defense and security situation is taken care of at the house. You've been prepping. I've been prepping. I mean, you know me. I'm a prepper, dog. I've been prepping. I've been prepping for a minute, and this just, you know, gave me an excuse to fucking go do get it some, more. Yeah, do some more stuff. You know what I mean? So, so, but let, let's break it down. You stopped OTR. Yeah. Why? I got off the road because it was a. Uh, it, it it dampened. You ever heard back in the day they had a saying? It was like uh, you cramping my style. Mm-hmm. That's what it was doing. Don't get me wrong, I was making good money, but I was never able to live how I wanted to live and do what I wanted to do. You mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? I wanted to um I wanted to I wanted to do more stuff outside. I wanted to go shoot my guns. I wanted to go four by four and off road. I wanted to go do a bunch of wild shit. You know what I'm saying? And you, you know, couldn't particularly do that. Yeah. I couldn't do that. Yeah, I'm, like always, a monk. yeah I'm, I'm in a bubble. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? I'm in a bubble. No, most people, you know, you know, because I, I recently quit OTR, as you know. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the main thing with me was I was trying to cycle out of it. Yeah. But it was like, well, he's always trying to pull me back in. So I was like, you know, I'm I'm going to take this coronavirus thing and I'm done. Like, I'm, I'm not I'm not doing it anymore. Yeah. So now that you are out, what are you doing? Well, I'm local. I'm, I'm still driving trucks, you know what I mean? But I got a, um, I got a job at uh, this concrete place. I'm driving a mixer truck, you know, with the concrete. And I'm pouring concrete at construction sites, shit like that. Is it better pay than what you were doing? No. I took a pay cut. It's only, it's only like $25 an hour. You see what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I get more time to live my life, though. You know what I mean? So so going from OTR to local is a legitimate pay cut. It's not a myth. It's like your well, pay going down. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because I mean, over the road, the the, the uh, what do you call it? The it's unlimited potential. You know what I mean? Like you can start a fleet. You can do all these things. You know what I mean? I got. Mm-hmm. I still got my business. I still got my LLC. I still got all the paperwork. I just mm-hmm. don't have a truck to run it. But I still, you know, making my moves, doing my thing. Doing what you want. Doing, you, and then I'm doing what I want on the back end, which is worth the pay cut to me. Because I was straight anyway. I wasn't necessarily living off my trucking checks. You know what I mean? I get paid yeah. anyway. So you know, big money grips. No, nah, I ain't big money grip. It's just, you know, my bills are straight though. You got benefits. I got benefits. You know what I mean? <laughs> I got benefits. So the thotties that's out there understand you got benefits. Hey, listen, okay. I can't, I can't be everywhere at once. <laughs> you know, I can't be everywhere at once. Gosh, I hate you. So I'm just saying, man. You, know, you get out the clean. game. Yeah. Are you still posting? Well, like videos and stuff. Yeah. I did, I did a few lives, a couple lives. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? But really, you know, when you first getting off the road, that first few months, you know, you really just trying to get your bearings back. Yeah. You know, for being home all the time. Right trying to squeeze in time with the family time sweet to, meat all that all that you know because you know I'm getting I'm, you know she, she sexually harasses me when I get home you know what I mean like, <laughs> I gotta deal with all that you know she on me I feel you I feel you yeah, listen, listen you know I, I'm celibate so I, I don't I don't really know what all that's about but I do know that you're doing your thing you look brighter hey listen I'm, I'm chilling out here man I'm having a good time you look brighter but I mean I, I, you in the sun more though I can tell yeah yeah definitely I'm outside you know my melanin is yeah, it protected me from the, these harmful UV rays out here. Are you worrying about the Rona? The Rona. Ooh, that's a whole subject right there. COVID-19? I see it like this. Here's my take on the Rona, right? From where I live, I don't think it's that big of a threat. Mm. You know, I live in Las Vegas where it's desert, it's hot, it's, you know, all kinds of dirt and shit flying around. Like, I don't think any virus, This, and I'm not no medical professional, but... Mm. I, I do believe that there's a reason why we have less cases than most of the country, mm-hmm. you know, because the, the terrain. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's it's hotter than Malaysian firecracker out here. It's not, it's no joke. Oh yeah, it's hotter than big, Baptist Church fish grease on Friday night out here. Yeah, it's, 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 it's so you, hold on, hold on, hold on. That, that, that's an Android watch. What? 
Is that an Android watch? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Oh, you an Apple? I've been had Apple. I got Apple everything. Shit, I got everybody in the house got Apple shit. I'm, I'm my Verizon bill every month is like five. Yeah, mine's four eighty three. Yeah, I got I got. You know, the wife got the new phone. I, she got an iPad to go with it. I got my phone, iPad to go with it. My daughter and my son, they both got iPhones. Yeah, I mean, you know, we straight. You getting all the money. I ain't getting all the money. Shit, Verizon getting it. And that truck. But what company did you leave? I left Prime. It was Prime Inc. Yeah, yeah. How can you... To. How can you leave the league is what they gonna wanna know. Well, here's the thing, okay? Don't get me wrong, I got no problem with Prime, but at the end of the day, it, it, it was some it was some it was some BS at the end of it. You know what I'm saying? It was Cause you got you got typecast, they put you on uh what they put you on? They put you on uh some list. Yeah. Right? The, oh yeah, well they had me on the uh uh what they call it, the top two hundred. <laughs> and it's not like an achievement like it's like the top 200 worst drivers like I suck at trucking you know what I'm saying and I and me sucking at trucking I was still killing them with like three or four grand a week mm. you know what I'm saying so I mean you know I wasn't sucking that bad you know what yeah, I mean yeah, yeah. but the thing about it is like I'm a grinder I'm a go getter so what happened was I was out there I got you know I got the big rig and everything I had the freight liner I had a, a 2018 freight liner mm. you know what I mean so I was running and I was running it and well, you were, you were uh, training. And I was training. That's why I was killing them. I was getting like, psh, training? At Prime, you go run about, this is after, because gross, I was doing about eight, nine grand a week. Mm. You see what I'm saying? But once I pay for my fuel, pay the driver, you know, run through all the, the stuff and nothing happens. Yeah. And we do about maybe 6,000 miles, you know, in a week. Yeah, you killing them. I'm killing them. You're making money. Yeah, so I was, my checks were looking like, you know, 35 here, 45 here, mm. 55 here. You know what I mean? Like, so what do you say to the people that say, you do, you, you should have 100,000 saved up? Well, fuck them. You know what I mean? Because they don't know. Because the real life game is this, okay? The real life game for trucking is this. You're going to, trucking is an expensive business. One tire, $1,100. Hmm. Super single. Them super singles, okay? You ain't getting those steer tires uh, for less than a band either. Mm. You know what I mean? For real, for real. It's going to be about eight, nine. Yeah, because you got to get two. So it's going to be 12. Yeah, because you got to get two. You can't have one new one and one old one. So now if I blow a steer tire, I might as well go to replace both of them. They're going to tell you to, right? That, that is yeah. Cool. So, and then you know they you know they're going to bend you over at the shop to do it. Oh, yeah. They slumping it's, you it's at the a, shop. When I, when I do steers, I was I was nowhere under $1,500 walking yeah. out of those. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's going to cost you. And it's one of them things where you got to pay it because one of them steers come out, your cheek meat in the wind. Like, you yeah. are in a bad situation. Yeah. And if DOT catches one of them steers looking shady, that's a wrap. Yeah, so now then that's another thing. You got the feds watching you. Every minute, every okay. minute. Okay, because DOT, that's the feds. They watch them. They put, these, they put the rules out and... You're gonna follow them. I did flatbed. I did reefer. You, you know? tried flatbed. Dude. Okay, flatbed did me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go back. Hey, look. You know me. This is Shooter Brown. Go, go to my videos. Oh. Okay. Are you pitching your listen on my stuff? This bro? is a shameless plug. Okay. <laughs> shameless. All right. Listen. This is Shooter Brown. Go to my videos. Okay. Go back to the the flatbed days. The Genesis. Okay. Back when I was with Adam. Shout out to Adam. You know what I'm saying? I was with Adam, and from. The day I got there to the day I got out of flatbed, it was a effing nightmare. I'm trying not to cuss so much. Yeah, it's you done said the F-bomb three times. Bro. Really? Yeah. I ain't yeah. even keeping up with it. I ain't gonna make no money off this. Oh. It's already known. Now, I, I could technically cut it if I wasn't lazy, but I'm not. But everybody know me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. That don't, that don't stop them per my money. Well, this is one of the fluff videos. Like, it's, <laughs> it's another video to say I got like 1,822 now. Like, yeah. But he go to hard questions. Okay. Oh, shit. We got, I, let, I let you ease on in. I let you ease in. All right. Now I gotta hit you. You gonna put me in the hot seat? Put the hot seat. All right. What's up? What's up? Two big questions. What's that? If you were starting over in trucking, mm -hmm. what would you tell yourself? What I would tell myself just now getting into trucking. Yeah. If you can put the experience you got now and talk to yourself, what would you say? Go reefer out the gate. Mm. First of all, go reefer or drive ahead out the gate. 
Yeah, no, no flat bed. I'm boy, not dealing with no flat man. You don't understand. I have traumatic experiences with flat bed. You know what I mean? Like I done, I been on top of the load. Okay, we're standing. I'm on standing on top of the load. It's already thirteen six because they stack it to the limit. You know what I mean? So I'm standing on top of the load. The wind is blowing. I gotta pull these tarps. It's just it's just nah. And then you gotta fold the tarps back up when you finish. So at the end of the day, it's like. Man, it's a lot of physical work that goes involved with it when you're really getting down to the nitty gritty of the job. You see what I'm saying? Well, I mean, I, it's a little extra, bro. I, I did flat bed. Extra. I did flat bed for four years. Hey, that's flat bed. And, who probably watching this right now? Like, you suck at life. You know what I mean? I did flat bed for ten years. Da 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 da. Flat bed in a lot of ways is easier than reefer. Not to me. No, of course not to you because you, first of all, I didn't train you. Yeah. Let's let's get that out the way. I mean, Adam trained me. I ain't hating on Adam and all that, but he sucks. Like, if I would have trained you, you'd have been Gucci because I, I was a flatbed guru. Yeah, you understand. So I, yeah. I did flatbed. One thing you you gotta understand is you get your sleep. When you go over to Reefa, there's nice sleep. Now, now, I can agree with that. Like when you got, I had lows. I had to pick up at like three thirty in the morning. I had to be there at two. You know what I mean? Like drop off. You know what I mean? But. And then the, you know the food's running twenty four seven. That's all. The, it's still running. Yeah, it's running right Going now. Going around. Yeah, even with the that's what, and that's what. Look, I'm gonna tell you something about that. You know what's gonna happen now? There's gonna be a lot more truckers on the road. You know why? Because people are realizing that if you're trucking, first of all, you're always gonna be working. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's the thing nowadays. Motherfuckers sitting at home and they like, man, when this finish, I'm gonna go get my CDL. Because even with all this going on, people still got to eat. True. People still got to have products. Facts. You know what I mean? We don't want a bunch of musty people around, so we got to bring deodorant. Deodorant, disinfected, you know? douches, condoms. All that. All that. Food, so you can live your ratchet off. lifestyle. You know, I, you know I love, you know I'm ratchet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you got you to gotta have all your ratchetity products. Oh, oh, stop, stop. What? What is ratchetity? It's the, it's the... Ratchetity is. <laughs> Why are you doing the intellectual yeah, hand? Th- like, yeah, that's what this is. Okay, ratchetity, if you will. Okay, ratchetity is when something is ratchet on a regular basis. Mm-hmm. Okay, that kind of shit. So, yeah, that's what ratchetity is. It's ratchet. You have to. You literally have to do your fingers like this. Okay, mm-hmm. ratchetity. You know, like, ratchetity. Yeah, it's like you're pointing, but you ain't pointing. So you know, it's like a, it's like a. Uh, uh, like the presidential candidates, they'll never say you. They don't yeah. point. They be like, you yeah. know. So why is that not a T-shirt? It needs to be. Check your ratchetity at the door. That's it. Check your ratchetity at the door. It's, 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 what? I feel you know like what? A, it's ratchetness. I, hey, what it is. No, it's ratchetity. Okay. <laughs> don't try to change my word. All right. So where can we where can we find you? Are you at a you got a. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on the gram. You, know, gram. you gram. don't be checking your gram like that, though. I know, I don't. I need, you know what? I'm gonna get better with this whole social media thing. But I've been really into lately with everything going on because I'm worried. Ask me what I'm worried about. What are you worried about? I'm glad you asked. Here's why. Okay, here's why I'm worried. I'm worried that the they're not gonna turn the world back on before things get out of hand. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm a worst case scenario type of person. Okay, mm-hmm. so I always look at, I prepare for the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario is we're going to be still out, people are still going to be out of work for the next six to eight months. Mm-hmm. Okay, if if not longer. All right, well, what does that do? That breaks down the economy. That breaks down, you know, the general morale of people in the country. Mm-hmm. Okay, because people always say, oh, well, you know, all these people out here hanging around, the homeless people, da, 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 da. The homeless people... Are not the are not the ones that you got to worry about. Their no. world hasn't changed. No, they're they're living the same way. Yeah, they're still under the bridge. You see yeah. what I'm saying? They still there. You know, they still go to the uh, the rescue mission or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or the help a hand mission. Shout out to Aunt Sylvia. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. they still go to these places to get the things that they need. It's the person with That's used to making fifty grand a year. Yeah, that guy who has a wife and a couple kids, and he just been out of work and babies is crying. Yeah, you gotta understand that a lot of people ain't like me. I got at least six months worth of food at my house. Yeah, like I got few freezers and lots of dry goods and things like that that'll hold me down. If even if I wasn't, you know, mm-hmm. working or whatever. But a lot of people didn't think like that. A lot. This came out of the blue and it hit so fast, so hard. 
that at the end of the day, you know. You saying that it, 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 it can get greasy out here. It's going to get greasy out here, okay? I'm talking about Blue Magic Greasy. Mm. Yeah, you know old school yeah. Blue Magic. You know what I mean? It's going to get Blue Magic Greasy. You're talking about two feet tall yeah. cocoa butter pump Greasy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay? The thick cocoa butter. Don't let it get cold cocoa yeah. butter. Yeah. I see grease. Yeah, it's gonna get greasy out there. <laughs> y'all ain't from the hood in the yeah. East Coast. Y'all don't even know what Tussie is. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But it's gonna get thick. It's gonna get thicker than cold grease. Hey, listen, it's gonna get thick. And the thing about it is, what's gonna happen is this the desperation due to the breakdown of the economy will drive people to do things that they would not normally do. True. You gotta understand that civilization is only civilized as long as their basic needs are met. True. You know what I mean? Now I'm not. I don't hold it against nobody. You gotta go do something, to feed your kids, do what you gotta do. But if you pick the wrong house, which is my house, I'm gonna blow your motherfucking back out. Mm. Do what you do. I ain't hating. You know, you didn't prep. You gotta feed your babies. Do what you gotta do. But if you come to, you come to the stove. You yeah, getting cooked. Yeah, exactly. You come over here. I'm gonna hit you with that burner like Bunsen. You know what I mean? <laughs> like. Real shit. Listen, this is this is part one of Shooter Brown. We're gonna get in deeper with him, you know. Um uh, ratchetity. Hey, it's, listen, it's, listen. It's, okay. I try to enlighten my brother. I try to expand his mind. Um we are nothing alike. Um and his I got the burner on me now. Like I'm not joking. True, Look, true. I, I'm I'm straight in the streets, like I'm good. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not joking. I feel you. I feel you know what I mean? You. But if I hate to use this word, because I don't want to condone this, but his ratchetity level. The, exactly. See how you see? They can't see it, but he did the fingers, just so y'all know. The, the ratchetity, the ratchetity level, level is at a progressive level. It's, it's high. I try to dampen it and, and give him other ways of thinking, hey, and look, maybe man. it'll be a little bit different or or something like that. But hopefully we'll, we'll see more of you now that I'm around Vegas. Welcome to Vegas, by the way. I'm out here. You, you showed up at the, in the carcass of Vegas. Yes. Because Vegas is dead right now. It definitely. It, hopefully, it'll pick back up. It'll, pick, where up. I'm at. it'll pick up. If you're trying to get an interview with the Big BZ, you're going to have to be in Vegas. It's gonna be, I'm going to be doing interviews on two channels. New Regime Entertainment. Right. All my, when it, it's going to get real over there. Like it's going to be. That's what. That's where you'll find more videos of me. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be about butt cheek grease. All that. Nipples. Ratchet shit. Porn. That's where I'm at. I'm with, um, I'm with all that. Give me all prostitution. That. All that marriage. Everything's gonna be over there. I'm not. I'm not. I don't even think I'm gonna monetize that channel because they ain't gonna give me no money anyway. So I monetize it anyway, just in case they decide <laughs> to. You know what I'm saying? So Let them tell you no. You so it's gonna get real. Make sure you sub to the base, the new regime entertainment for the real ratchetity videos. I guess we'll use that word and go from there. This is Diggy Down Brown. I'm always out of town. Make sure you go to my Instagram, which is at Trucker Brown. Right, right. Okay, that's number one. If you're not new to this channel, I suggest you, if you are new to this channel, I suggest you sub and hit the like button and hit the bell because if you don't hit the bell, you don't get the notification. Right. Don't do drugs on 95,000.